pesky plastic pieces, a lost pair of safety goggles, and more wood than you would hope for in your chicken. Purdue Foods produces literal tons of food for public consumption, but they have had to deal with their fair share of recalls throughout the years. After receiving customer complaints in August 2024, Purdue Foods recalled 167,171 pounds of chicken from stores nationwide. This included Simply Smart Organics breaded chicken breast nuggets, Butcher Box Organic chicken breast nuggets, and Purdue chicken breast tenders. Purdue said Friday, it's possible the products are contaminated with metal. The metal in question was described as wire, which was found embedded in the nuggets. As per Jeff Shaw, senior vice president of food safety and quality for Purdue, this was, quote, a very thin strand of metal wire that was inadvertently introduced into the manufacturing process. While fortunately, nobody was injured as a result of said wire, the USDA's Food Safety and Inspection Service, or FSIS, still classified the recall as a class one risk. And customers were urged to double-check their freezers for the nuggets or tenders and throw them away stat. The gluten-free variety of Purdue chicken breast tenders may have been true to their word and did not contain any actual gluten in August 2022, but some did contain small pieces of plastic and blue dye. BJ's Wholesale Club alerted Purdue to the issue after a customer filed a complaint, claiming they had found both components within a single chicken tender. No stores stocked the affected batches at the time, which meant that Purdue didn't need to carry out a formal mass recall. Instead, the FSIS issued a public health alert and requested that those who still had the products throw them away or return them as soon as possible. Nobody reported any cases of illness after eating the chicken, but considering the fact that consuming plastic poses a choking hazard, we're not surprised that the FSIS encouraged people to get rid of the contaminated poultry. Of all the materials to contaminate chicken, wood is probably one of the most unexpected. And yet, in January 2019, wood was the motivation behind a major recall of 68,244 pounds, equal to roughly 49,632 bags, of Simply Smart Organics breaded chicken breast nuggets after three people complained about finding it in their food. Again, as is usually the case with any food that may contain a contaminant that could cause serious damage if consumed, this was categorized as a Class 1 recall by the FSIS. No reported injuries were linked to the nuggets, which Purdue explained had been contaminated in what it believed to be an isolated incident that only affected a handful of the products recalled. However, considering how tough it would be to accurately separate the wood-free nuggets from the contaminated nuggets, better safe than sorry. Another big recall hit Purdue in January 2019 when the brand's Fun Shapes chicken breast nuggets turned out to be not so fun. Contamination wasn't the issue this time around, nor was the actual meat. Instead, it was found that the nuggets, which were shaped like dinosaurs, in case you were wondering just how fun a shape can be, were packaged with the wrong back panel label, meaning they didn't feature an accurate ingredient list. This may not have been so major if the ingredients list on the back didn't miss out one major allergen, milk. Milk was a bad choice. Having noticed the inconsistencies between the back label of the packaging and the nuggets themselves, a grocery store raised the alarm to Purdue, which then conducted an in-depth investigation. Having isolated the issue to a specific production time frame, the brand decided to recall all 16,011 pounds or 21,348 packages of the Fun Shapes chicken breast nuggets from 14 states. While there were no confirmed reports of someone falling ill from the Fun Shapes chicken breast nuggets, the impact this could have had on just one person with a dairy allergy or sensitivity who accidentally consumed the nuggets makes it more than worth the effort of a recall. Unexpected objects made another appearance in Purdue Chicken back in May 2019. The recall affects nearly 32,000 pounds of chicken under the Purdue Simply Smart Organics and Chef Quick labels. Approximately 31,703 pounds of ready-to-eat chicken products were recalled after both Purdue and the FSIS received complaints of customers finding pieces of bone material in Simply Smart Organics breaded gluten-free chicken tenders, whole grain chicken nuggets, and whole grain chicken strips, plus Chef Quick breaded chicken tenders and chicken breast strips. That's a whole lot of chicken. While these products had already been shipped nationwide, they were fortunately no longer stocked in stores. Instead, the main concern was that people may have already stashed the chicken in their freezer without realizing. Anyone who did find any of the affected products at home was told to either throw them away or return them to their point of purchase. While the odds of every single product containing this bone material were slim, Jeff Shaw stressed that they were just pulling everything made in the same production run, quote, out of an abundance of caution. 
Purdue's year of recalls in 2019 had one final act in September. While it's not quite as gargantuan as some of the other recalls on the list, 495 pounds of chicken tenders still caused quite the headache for Purdue when the brand realized that its packaging was missing one key allergen, wheat. As per a statement released by Purdue Foods, it had accidentally packaged Simply Smart Organic's gluten-free breaded chicken breast tenders with a label that boasted an inaccurate ingredient statement that omitted wheat as an allergen. Of course, for those with a gluten intolerance or celiac disease, accidentally consuming gluten is no joke. So what is celiac disease? It's an autoimmune disease that gets triggered when people eat the gluten protein. Purdue was quick to jump into action after a consumer inquiry into the packaging issue, figuring out the exact time that the affected frozen products were produced. It subsequently pulled all Simply Smart Organics gluten-free breaded chicken breast tenders, which had been shipped out to grocery stores in Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, and encouraged those who'd already purchased the tenders to call for a refund. In May 2017, Purdue Foods was contacted by three consumers who all had the same problem. Their newly bought Purdue Harvestland Italian-style organic chicken sausages contained more than the advertised cage-free chicken. Instead, they discovered a colorful bonus ingredient, blue plastic. Unsurprisingly, anyone found to have the product at home was encouraged to throw the sausages away. Meanwhile, Purdue conducted its own investigation, where it established that the plastic was accidentally added to the sausages while they were still on the production line. As Jeff Shaw said in a statement put out by Purdue, we determined the source was plastic from a pair of safety goggles that was inadvertently introduced into the raw material before the sausages were stuffed. This would have resulted in a minimal amount of consumer packages potentially containing sausages with the plastic. In case you hadn't noticed by now, plastic has a tricky habit of popping up in places it shouldn't. In March 2016, it made another surprise appearance in chicken nuggets made by Purdue Foods. This time, it was the 18-piece chicken nuggets produced by Purdue for Applegate Farms, which prides itself on selling high-quality, natural products made without any GMOs or added chemical nitrites, nitrates, or phosphates. About 4,530 pounds of these nuggets were impacted, all of which had been shipped to stores in Indiana, Florida, Georgia, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, New York, and Texas. The USDA had received complaints about small, solid, clear plastic pieces, which, after investigation, had been narrowed down to a batch of nuggets produced on September 28, 2015. Defined as a Class 1 recall, this followed the same protocol as usual, with customers asked to throw away or return any boxes at their earliest convenience, despite the fact that there were no reports of anyone having an adverse reaction to said plastic. Purdue and plastic, an annoyingly consistent pairing, apparently. This time, it was the Applegate Naturals chicken nuggets that contained the unexpected presence of plastic in August 2014. Purdue, which doesn't own Applegate but does produce some products, recalled 15,306 pounds of chicken nuggets after receiving complaints about tiny bits of plastic buried inside some nuggets. The only nuggets affected were those produced on February 5, 2014, but Purdue still rushed to pull all products from the market. What made doing so harder than some food recalls is the fact that people rarely consume every chicken nugget as soon as they buy them. This is the kind of purchase that gets stashed away in your freezer for weeks, if not months on end. With that in mind, the USDA issued a notice four days after Purdue pulled the nuggets to encourage customers to rifle through their own frozen food and to contact a healthcare provider if they did accidentally consume the plastic and were worried about any potential side effects. Another year, another plastic scare. Back in July 2010, the Food Safety and Inspection Service announced that Purdue Foods had recalled a whopping 91,872 pounds of its Great Value Fully Cooked Chicken Nuggets, part of the affordable product line produced specifically for grocery store chain Walmart. CNN reported that this time around, the cause of the recall was consumer complaints about small pieces of blue plastic, which Purdue explained was caused by a small blue plastic ring that somehow found its way into the raw material of the nuggets. As per the USDA, this hadn't caused any reported injuries or illnesses at the time of the recall, but still needed to be swiped from shelves as a precaution. Instead of a foreign object or unexpected substance making its way into the meat, the January 2008 recall conducted by Purdue related to an undeclared allergen. Its 28.8-ounce packages of Purdue Perfect Portions individually wrapped boneless, skinless chicken breasts had been found to contain milk in its Italian seasoning, but there was no warning on the nutritional labels to alert those with an allergy or intolerance towards dairy. Fortunately, it was Purdue Foods itself that noticed the labeling problem, 
not an unsuspecting customer with a dairy issue. The silver lining to this massive effort is that nobody with dairy allergies or intolerances reported getting sick after eating any of the chicken breasts in question. Two different Purdue Foods chicken products were pulled from stores in April 2006 for the exact same reason. The Purdue breaded chicken breast filet and the Chef Quick breaded chicken breast filet were reported as possibly being under-processed. In other words, what was supposed to be fully cooked chicken breast was potentially undercooked, which could pose a wealth of possible health risks to those who unknowingly consume the products. This was another recall sparked by consumer complaints, but fortunately nobody reported any illnesses or adverse effects from eating any of the affected chicken. To mitigate the odds of this happening, the USDA announced a Class 1 recall, with Purdue pulling 20,610 pounds worth of meat from stores in Indiana, Massachusetts, Missouri, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Tennessee, and Utah. Underprocessed meat was an even bigger concern in March 2005, when Purdue was forced to recall a mind-blowing 230,700 pounds of fully cooked chicken strips. The brand had produced the meat over the course of five days in February and March of that year, only to realize that it was potentially not as fully cooked as it had intended, but had already been shipped to distribution centers in preparation for use in Subway restaurants. Purdue quickly got to work recalling the chicken that had made its way to Subway restaurants along the East Coast. Due to the potential risk this posed to health, the USDA defined this as a Class 1 recall, but once again, Purdue lucked out as there were zero reports of any illnesses stemming from the meat. Coincidentally, Subway had only just introduced its new chicken strips as a menu option in January, raving on X, then Twitter, about their new offering.